What up, B Squad? It is your boy JB, and we are here today, you guys, with a brand new review for the Braxton's, you guys, season number one, episode number, what number is this? Episode seven? Yeah. Episode seven is this episode titled Lights, Camera, Braxton, you guys. So before we go ahead and get into it, if you guys are watching this video or any other on the channel and you guys aren't subscribed yet, then I need you guys to do me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know the routine. You can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on your post notifications, you guys, and also by sharing the video. And with that out of the way, you guys, without further ado, let us go ahead and discuss this episode of the Braxtons, shall we? All right, you guys, so there's a plane flying over. So honestly, with this episode, I don't expect it to be that long because this episode didn't really give a whole, whole lot for me to talk about. It honestly felt like a filler episode. So again, I don't expect this video to be lengthy at all. What I will say is next week is the season finale. Honestly, when it comes to the Braxtons, this show, in my personal opinion, doesn't need a season two if they get one cool if they don't cool as well right i know that this season has been under the guise of this is what tracy wanted right and honestly if we're if i'm keeping it real and i'm giving my two cents i don't necessarily know if this is what tracy would have wanted because there's so much turmoil and dissension that's going on in her family currently right I won't talk too deeply about what happened, what came out this week with her family, but there was a video that was released. I don't know how old the video is, but a video came out this week of Kevin Jr. and, you know, Kevin Sr. And it was an altercation between the two of them where it got physical, right? Again, like I said, I ain't going too deep into it. I'll, I'm just talking, giving my two cents, right? And this show, like I said, it wasn't for, just for me personally. I don't know if it was a good look to do. And again, it's completely under the guise of this is what Tracy wanted. I don't think Tracy would have wanted a show out there where it, you know, paints her husband in a negative light. Maybe, maybe not, right? I don't know if she would want this, for, you know, want to show out there where it paints her husband in a negative light. I don't know if she wanted to show out there where it's showing her son's trauma with his, his marriage, him dealing with his mother's passing. I don't know that. I don't think that she would want that. And then also, I don't know if she would want it out there, the dissension with her son and her husband. This is my personal opinion. You guys may agree or disagree, and it is fine if you guys disagree or agree with me. These are just my personal opinions. I absolutely would love to know what you guys think and feel in the comment section below, you guys. But yeah, like I said, I'm not going to talk about that video. I saw it. I didn't like it for either Kevin Jr. or Kevin Sr. Because I didn't think, I just, honestly, for me personally, I didn't think that we, the viewing public, needed to be privy to that. I think that that is a family matter that should be handled by the family and not for public consumption. There are a lot of things that I think shouldn't have been for public consumption, but unfortunately, with a reality show, nothing's really truly supposed to be off limits, right? But I also will say, now I know a lot of people feel that they've exploited little Kevin, right? That I don't agree with. I don't agree that they've exploited him, but I don't, I don't, because he's a grown, and here's why, he's a grown man, right? So I don't think, think that they exploited him because he willingly chose to come onto the show and tell his story, right? But I also think that from some of the, you know, some people's vantage point, it could be like they benefited from telling his story because, I mean, let's be real. Tamar is a friend to the show, right? We know what's going on in Tony's world. Tony is getting ready for this Vegas res residency. As far as Trina and Tawanda, which I like Tawanda and Trina. I can't even tell you what's going on in their personal lives right now because they're not really talking about anything, right? And also, one thing, you know, I'm going to leave that alone because I was going to say something, but I'm going to leave it alone. But it's neither here nor there, right? But let's go ahead and get into the episode. So this episode is literally about um, them doing the promo shoot for the show. 
So we see Trina and Tawanda as they're out getting manicures and pedicures. So they know about Miss Evelyn going on the date with that guy in last week's episode. I knew from the minute Miss Evelyn saw the man, she wasn't interested in him. But she's talking about it. it was the fact that the man had on all purple. I was like, okay, what was wrong with the purple? Like, I really, truly didn't get the per what she was trying to say about the purple. But, I mean, it's her prerogative, and it is what it is. I ain't, I'm not saying that she's right or wrong in her feelings, but it just seemed like you, you didn't want to give the man a chance in the first place. But, hey, again, it is what it is, right? So they're talking about, you know, going out to L.A. and doing the um, photo shoot for the show. Um, the photographer is going to be Derek Blanks, who I absolutely love Derek Blanks, right? Um, I actually follow, to, if you guys don't follow Takara from America's Ex Top Model, she works with Derek Blanks, right? And they he this, they do, um, on Instagram, they do little things where they um, do videos where they go from different outfits and stuff. Love it, right? Um, that's that. So we see Tony. So Tony, she's out there in LA and you guys know, Tony is preparing for this, um, this Vegas residency that she's doing with Cedric the Entertainer, right? So we see as Miss Evelyn, uh, Tawanda and Trina came down to see her. <laughs> Tony, you guys, if you guys don't know, I love me some Tony Braxton, right? I am a, I am a hardcore tony braxton fan right if you were to ask me what my favorite album is from tony it's going to be the heat i love that album i love the heat my favorite album hands down right um tony baby i'm gonna need you just to stick with singing because comedy you don't have a you you, you don't have a career in it baby I, I, I love you down love you to pieces but yeah a career in comedy it ain't for you tony we're going to stick with the singing and the performing because comedy, please don't ever. Because I read that. Now, the first joke that you told at the restaurant a few episodes ago, I kind of chuckled a little bit at that one. But this one, right, what you were saying right here was Cedric. I was like, huh? I was confused and, 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 and confused, really and truly, right? So after that, we see as um, Trina, Tawanda, and Miss Evelyn, they went out to eat, right? They were talking about Tracy a little bit, how, you know, they were they would expect Tracy to come around the corner and make a, a little joke, right? They talked about the photo shoot, right? Once again, it's being done by Derek Blanks. And, you know, Trina is talking about, you know, she wished that she had lost a few pounds before the photo shoot. Now, I will say, Trina looks amazing in it because this promo pic, the only thing that's throwing me off with Trina is the hair i think that's the only thing that's throwing me off because i know trina at one point in this episode she had locks so i'm 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 assuming they they did they did something with her locks and um put the wig on top of her because i think that's a wig and it no offense trina love you down it looks it it very much so looks wiggy and you know something that i didn't i i, I kind of figured that they shot these individually but I didn't realize that they, because you can look at Tamar. Well, I guess now looking at it, I can tell that Tamar is not with them because it's just uh, Trina, Miss Evelyn, Tony, and Tawanda. Tamar actually ended up doing her promo shoot in Atlanta, right? And, you know, here's the thing with Tamar. I don't, when it comes to Tamar, I can take Tamar in doses. And with this show, I've appreciated the doses of Tamar. It just be when Tamar be on social media that kind of annoys me the most is where I get the most irritated and the most annoyed with Tamar. But on this show, like I said, I can take, you know, I'm I'm actually cool with, you know, how we see Tamar. It's here and there. And you know, I'm not going to take away how Tamar feels when it comes to her sisters, right? Because she has every right to feel the way she feels when it comes to her sisters. If she feels isolated, if she feels this, if she feels that, right? And I like the fact that Tony in her interview says that she, you know, she, she would love it if all her sisters were, were there because, you know, even when they were on Braxton Family Values, they always filmed their promo shoots together, right? 
but she did say that you know she respects you know what uh you know tamar wants to do and what tamar is um going through right and i was like that's that's you know i'm cool with that right let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below so we like i said we do see tamar so tamar is in atlanta she is doing her photo shoot right and then we move back over to the girls in la and sean came to go came to see tawanda surprised her it's so interesting when you look at Sean when they first when we first met him on Braxton and Family Values to now. Bro, man has really been eaten over there. That's that love weight, right? So then after that, we see Tony, Trina, and Tawanda. So they went out, right? So, you know, um, Tony is just talking about the, the Vegas residency with uh, Cedric, right? How she found out that his mom has lupus. And she's like, you know, Cedric can kind of dance a little bit, right? And they were like, what do you what do you mean dance, right? So then Tawanda asked Tony if she will ever get married again. And I was thinking to myself, are her and Brian, we ain't saw nothing of her and Brian in a very, very long time. I mean, I always knew that Tony and Brian were not going to get married, but, and you guys know Brian, Birdman, right? I always knew that Tony was never going to marry Birdman, but I was like, for the longest time, like, girl, stop, Tony, stop playing in my face. Stop playing my face when it comes to Birdman. Because I wasn't there a rumor at one point in time that they had got they had went off and gotten married. I don't think Tony wants to get married. I think Tony wants to, you know, live her life, have fun, and just be Tony. Like, I don't, because she said she thinks that the boat has sailed for her with being married, right? And Trina was like, it ain't sailed, Tony look at me i was like eh. oh trina 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 you know i have my reservations and i have my feelings when it comes to um her, what is her husband name? vaughn right especially after seeing how they interacted on that first live after the first episode something with vaughn just didn't sit right with me the fact that one you're jealous of a man that is deceased i can see it if gabe were still alive gabe is deceased so why do you why do you feel threatened by gabe like i'm still confused by that i'm still beyond confused by him being feeling any type of feelings when it came to gabe who is no longer here but okay you know if, if 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 it made sense in his brain then it made sense but okay elizabeth taylor as tony called her like because girl i just uh, yeah no but you know um so tony then asked tawanda about her and sean right because she said how long have y'all been together and tawanda's like we've been together for nine years now I was like really it's been that i didn't know that they had been together for nine years I know that they had got together not too long after she ended things with Andre, but damn, that was that was almost 10 years ago. I did not realize that. That is a very long time. But uh, congratulations to him. And I do like the fact that with Tawanda, Tawanda isn't really trying to pressure him into marriage. And I have, you know, I have to say I, I respect that and I commend that because you know, I think I think when it comes to Tawanda, I think Tawanda is fine with the relationship, how it is currently. If they, you know, if they get married, they get married. If they don't get married, you know, she's content with how the relationship is. And, you know, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with it. And, you know, it is what it is. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next scene, you guys. So after that we see tawanda and we see sean so they went out on a date with each other right and it was just really tawanda talking about her alopecia right and this is something that i also noticed with the with this show right they'll show things that are coming up next but it's not in this episode so i'm guessing in the season finale because um tawanda's going to do an inter because they kept showing coming up next to want to do an interview on a radio. I don't know whose radio show it was, but they showed her doing an interview on the radio show about her alopecia. And I'm guessing it's going to be next week on the season finale. Right. And she was just talking about how, which I didn't even catch that in the early seasons of Braxton family values, 
You guys remember, Tawanda used to wear the two pigtails on the side, right? Well, Tawanda said the reason why she was wearing the pigtails was because her hair was thinning, right? And we know that with black women, um, hair is everything to a black woman, you know, right? And sometimes I do feel like, you know, <clears throat> I think that we as black people, we get caught up in our hair, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm a victim of that as well. Because now I'm currently bald, but I still do have some hair. But I remember when I start when my hair first started thinning, I felt like I didn't feel like myself. I felt like my hair was everything because I loved my hair. My hair was beautiful. Still is. I still have, like I still have hair. It just you know it's just very very thin, and I can I, I feel like I my, like I've noticed with me some of my the reason why my hair fell out was because of stress, right? Because the less that I stress my hair, because I've noticed that my hair is now trying to grow back. So I feel, <laughs> excuse me, y'all. So I feel like if I wanted to try to make my hair grow, it could. But I remember the first time that I shaved my head, it was so uncomfortable for me. Like I didn't feel like myself. I felt like someone else. So I get where Tawanda's coming from. And then, you know, over the seasons, <clears throat> she was able to start wearing wigs. So you would never really see her real hair. So, you know, congrats. You know, I'm here for Tawanda and I'm glad that she's embracing her bald head. Her bald head looks amazing, right? She looks amazing. Looks amazing, right? And it takes it takes some time to get used to seeing yourself bald, right? Because now with me, even with me, like when I see my hair going back, I immediately go into the bathroom and get my clippers out and I buzz it all off. It's like, zoom, mm, got to go, right? So then to end the episode, you guys, we see Tony. So Tony and Cedric the Entertainer, they are on the Jennifer Hudson show and they are promoting, you know, the um, the uh, the Vegas residency, right? So Tony's manager came in and asked, you know, how's she feeling? And she's like, you know, after the photo shoot, she's just really, you know, kind of in any in emotional state, you know, it's the, you know, Tracy's anniversary passed also her birthday pass so she's just kind of feeling you know herself she's in her feelings right about now right so we see yes tony and um and um said went out there they did talk about tracy and she broke down crying right and like i said when i told you guys this episode it was kind of fillerish i actually kind of like this episode as opposed to you know um previous episodes i guess you would say it wasn't heavy it was a little light but yeah you guys please feel free to jump down in the comment section let me know what you guys thought about this episode and we will um wrap it up you guys so like i said next week is the season finale uh for, like i said for me personally do i think that this show needs to come back for a season two my personal opinion is going to be no but if they like i said if they do bring it back for a season two then i'll i'll definitely come back for it. if they do get a season two i'll absolutely come back and watch season two and review season two right what i will say if it goes in if they get a season two i don't want to focus so much on little kevin right i do want to know what's going on in their personal lives right it's okay to talk about tracy and to you know it's okay to talk about tracy it's okay to um you know honor tracy but it can be there are different there are ways that you guys can do that and it not have to be so dark um yeah let me know what you guys again let me know what you guys thought about the episode let me know what you guys have thought about the overall season of um the braxton's and that's it you guys so i will see you guys for the next video and that will be let's get into the blogs as well as ghost so be safe you guys take care of yourselves wash your hands um be blessed and i'll see you guys for power book for a ghost and let's get into the blogs bye guys and i hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend